what skills do you think young coaches first need to learn? So here's going to be my answer. And I'm thinking about this from the intern slash new coach perspective. So like when an intern comes into the gym, I don't care if they're 18 years old, if they're 21, if they're 29, because we've had, you know, all age ranges. The first thing I need them to learn. I don't care about them coaching. None of that. The first thing I want them to learn is how to interact with our clients. Yeah. Like number one, you got to know how to interact with people. And this is something that we always come back to is like the first two weeks of your internship, there's literally no coaching demands at all. And I don't care if you've coached for like five years before, because you may coach things well, but we probably have a different standard at IFAST than what you've done in the past. And that's not to sound like snooty or conceited it's just we have a certain way of doing things and we want to be cohesive in how it's taught right so the f most important thing is those first two weeks you have to be able to relate to people you got to know people you got to know their first name you got to know some stuff about them you got to be able to create a relationship with them first because then it's infinitely easier to coach them once you know the person not just an exercise so that is my two cents on that what do you think, Roof? I, I, I got different. I don't know. We're, we're uh, probably going at the, same, at the same place, but I got a little, go a little different it, perspective. And that is how to read people. Okay. Okay. So, um, and I, I, I know this comes with experience of different things, but you – you know, we don't we don't spend enough time teaching people how to read people. You know, you you have coaches, and then you have what I call legends. Yeah. Okay. And the coaches are the guys. Yeah, they win and they win national championships and all these other things. But the legends are the ones that people remember. The legends are the ones that affected your life. And they, they may have won national championships. It may be big schools. They may not have been. Okay. But we don't. Um, uh, but they're the guys that people come back to see. I can remember just a quick story. Yeah. You know, I got stories as usual. Love stories. And so – we had we had a guy at at IU when I was there. His name was <laughs> Howard Brown. He played there and he coached there for twenty five or thirty years. He was he was an institution. Everybody loved Coach Brown. And I remember sitting in the office one day and 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 Corso couldn't fire him when he first came in because he was a legend, right? He's one of these right. guys you, you keep around and and. I remember on game day one day sitting there and uh, seeing all these people file down the hallway in assembly hall where the office was. And there was a huge line waiting. And I was sitting with one of the other coaches and he goes, you know, he said, that's how you can tell a coach. And I looked at him. I said, what are you talking about? And he goes, you see that line? That's all for one man. It's Coach Brown. That's how much he affected those people. That's cool. All old players that came back to, to see, the, see the head guy. Or, not, I mean, I'm sorry, not the head guy. Coach Brown was never the head coach. He was the assistant coach. But he affected so many people that they waited in line to see him on game day when they, when they would come back. He, when he died – he died while I was still in school. It was, I remember they, um, we, we went to funeral course. It was a who's who of coaches. Woody Hayes was there. Bo Schembechler, Joe Paterno, John McKay flew in from USC. Wow. Coaches from all over the country were there. Literally, it was a who's who of college coaches at the time. And I remember yeah. standing there looking and, God dang. You know, what, what impact this guy must have made. Yeah. 
and nobody talks about that anymore. Yeah, it's true, man. It's true. You, you can have you can, you can have all the coaching knowledge you want and get to know the people, but until you start impacting them, know how to read them so that you can impact them, it doesn't mean anything. You're just going to be a coach. You're not going to be a legend. That's awesome, man. I love that. Yeah.